If you're running Docker on your Mac, you may have seen this warning about malware being blocked on your computer. It's nothing you gotta worry about. It's a false alarm, it's a false positive. I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Docker and Apple know about this. Basically, Apple's own malware detection mistakenly flagged Docker Desktop as malware. Now, we're gonna do this so you don't have to uninstall Docker. You're not gonna have to reconfigure any of your containers or any of your previous setup. It's all gonna work by following this process very quickly. And this is for those that install Docker Desktop via the Docker Desktop website, not via Homebrew. So let's go for it, it's really easy. So first things first, you don't gotta worry about this, just press done, there's another one, just press done. Now let's just make sure that no processes of Docker are running in the background. So we're gonna open up terminal, I'm gonna paste this in this command, I'll put it on my GitHub. And this is just making sure that none of the other Docker processes are running. You're gonna have to put in your password here. Okay, so we're gonna open up this page on Docker Docs. And by the way, this process is what they told us to do here, like we just did, we just put these commands in our terminal. Okay, so we're gonna download the latest version of Docker. You should download the relevant Docker to your computer. For me, it's the Mac with Apple chip. Okay, so Docker finished downloading, so let's install it. We're just gonna install this like we install any other app. We're just gonna drag it to our applications folder. Okay, so now we're in our applications folder, so now let's just open up Docker, and we're just gonna install it again like any other application, okay. Open, you're gonna have to put in your admin password again. You could skip this, I'm gonna skip this for now. And just like that, I have Docker desktop running on my computer again without any warnings. I have all the containers from this computer running here. Here's open web UI. Here's pipelines that I use with open web UI to connect to Claude, for example. So now let's just try and open up open web UI and see that it's running. And there you go, open web UI is running again, great. You can see all my models here. If you haven't watched my previous video on how to set up open source LLMs locally on your computer, you should watch it. That's where I show you how to set up Open Web UI with locally hosted LLMs so you don't have to pay for them. They're really cool, they're private, they're great. I'll link it somewhere on the screen. So just like that, we were able to solve the Docker malware issue. It was really easy. I hope you're able to solve this as fast as I was. You could definitely use Perplexity or ChatGPT with Search or even Claude with Brave Search to be able to solve this if you run into any issues, but it's pretty straightforward. Thank you for watching and have a great day.